indeed made the Quran easy to understand and remember. Then is there any that will receive admonition? Alhamdulillah, it was possible for us so far to learn eight derived forms starting from two fa'ala, fa'ala, af'ala. Tafa'ala, Tafa'ala, Infa'ala, Ifta'ala. Now we are inviting the ninth one. And that is Ifa'ala, Yaf'alu, Ifa'ilalun, Muf'alun. It doesn't take PP. So in the same stencil, we have got Ihmarra, Yahmarru, Ihmirarun, Muhmarrun. It is formed by prefixing alif, maksur, after making the radical fa quiescent and placing shadda on the radical lam. So as far as formation is concerned, alhamdulillah, we are fully aware of the formation. And if you go to this uh, significance of uh, this ninth derived form, the ninth form is derived from noun adjectives denoting color, defect, or condition. So, I made it white, so it became white. I made it black, so it became black. I made it red, so it became red. I made it green, so it became green. Safartuhu fasparra. I made it yellow, so it became yellow. So these are the significances of uh, ninth derived form, quite simple. Before we go to the Quranic text, and only one ayah is selected from the Quran, let me explain to you the illa and its use. That is, except you particle illa. If in a sentence, where the acceptive particle illa is used and the negative meaning does not exist, then the noun which follows illa carries fatha, accusativeness. Example, laqitu tullaba illa waladak. I met the students except your son. Ja'a rijalu illa akhaka. The people came except your brother. Sallatil mu'minatu illa al munafiqat. The believing women prayed, except the hypocriting women. La ilaha illallah. There is no God except Allah. Lan ashraba illa labanan. I shall not drink anything except milk. Lam yaqumu illa zaidan. They did not stand except zaid. Now, in the above first sentences, the executive particle illa is not preceded by any negative meaning. Therefore, all three nouns which follow remain in the accusative case. In sentences four and six, the acceptive particle illa is preceded by negative meaning. Therefore, all three nouns which follow retain their own cases. So let us go to this uh, unit 59, the Quranic text. <laughs>
on the day when some faces will be whitened and some faces will be blackened. It will be said to them, disbelieve you after your profession of belief, then test the punishment for that you disbelieved. So tab yaddu, that is our ninth form. Yes, that's what do, and then is what that. By the grace of Allah, it is possible for us to start our lesson 16, and that is our final lesson for this course. Now we are required to know, in the first instance, adverb of time and place, zarf zaman wa makan. Rule number 85, it says, the noun which denotes the meaning of time is known as adverb of time, zarf zaman. As-subh, the morning, bukra, morning, al-layl, the night, al-dhuhr, the noon, idha, when, mata, when, al-ams, yesterday, am, year, al-fajr, the dawn, asil, evening, al-duha, the morning, hours, ghudu, morning, al-an, now, ana, during, ghadan, tomorrow, Asa'a, the hour, al-isha, the night, al-nahar, the day, yawm, day, ayyan, when, sah, dawn, shahr, month, heen, time. Rule number 86, the noun which denotes the meaning of place is known as the adverbs of place, zarf makan, masjid, mosque, manzil, house, amam, in front. Khalf, behind. Fawq, above. Tah, below. Huna, here. It is formed on the pattern of maf'al or maf'il. Ma'bad, place of worship, temple. Majlis, council meeting, seat. Now let us read the numbers. There are certain rules which can be applied to these Arabic numbers. Numbers vary in their usage depending upon their counting objects. They are, on the whole, quite interesting. Rule number 86. One and two numbers in their counting work similar to the sifa adjective. Therefore, they agree with the nouns counted for in number, gender, case, definiteness and indefiniteness. Waladun wahid, one boy. Urfatun wahida, one house. Bintun wahida, one girl. Baitun wahid, one room. I wonder if the class can give an example for masculine and one example for feminine. Kitabun wahid, one book, yes? Zaharatun wahida. Zaharatun wahida, that is one flower. One flower. Waladan ithnan, two boys. Baitan ithnan, two houses. Bintan ithnan, two girls. Urfatan ithnatan, two rooms. Ithnan is M2, masculine dwell, agrees with waladan M2, the noun counted for in number, gender, case, and indefiniteness. Ithnatan is F2, feminine dwell. Agrees with bintan, feminine dwell, the noun counted for in number, gender, case, and indefiniteness. Now, can the class give me the examples for both masculine and feminine for ithnan? Waladani, ithnani. Two boys, yes. Bintani, ithnani. Two girls. Not ahad, masculine singular. And ihda, feminine singular, means one, both are nouns, cannot be used as adjective. Ahadul buyut, one of the houses. Ihdal orufat, one of the rooms. Isnan M2 and Isnatan F2 are also nouns and dwells, but they also form adverbal and possessive nouns. Now, if you go to the rule number 88, it says that if the nouns counted for amount to between 3 and 10, 
and are masculine, then with these nouns, feminine numbers are used. And again, if these nouns are feminine, then masculine numbers are used. So please mark that from 3 to 10, we have other rule. From 1 to 2, what we follow? Same as adjectives rule. <laughs> isnan M2 and Isnatan F2 are also nouns and dwells, but they also form adverbal and possessive nouns. Now if you go to the rule number 88, it says that if the nouns counted for amount to between 3 and 10 and are masculine, then with these nouns, feminine numbers are used. And again, if these nouns are feminine, then masculine numbers are used. So please mark that from 3 to 10, we have other rule. From 1 to 2, what we follow? Same as adjectives rule. That is Sifa and Mosu, qualifying noun and adjective. From 3 to 10, now it is changing. If the noun counted for amount to between 3 and 10 and are masculine, noun counted for, are masculine, then these nouns, feminine numbers are used. And again, if these nouns are feminine, then masculine numbers are used. So the noun counted for are masculine, then feminine numbers are used. Noun counted for are feminine, then masculine numbers are used. It's reverse. It's vice versa, of course. Now, orafatin is F3+, plus. that is feminine plural. Therefore, the number thalath in the masculine is used. Feminine, wahidatun. Masculine, wahid. Ihda, ahad. Ithnatan, ithnan. Thalath, thalatha. Arba, arba. Khams, khamsa. Sit, sitta. Sab, sab'a. Thaman, thamaniya. Tis'a, tis'a. Ashr, ashra. So this column gives us masculine, and this column gives us what? Feminine. When between 11 and 19 numbers are used for the counting of nouns, special adjustments are made. Numbers 1 and 9 at their end except fatha. Number 10, ashara, at its end except fatha. The consonant known is dropped from ithnan and ithnathan. If the noun for counting is masculine, then table A is used. And if it is feminine, then table B is used, and the noun counted for is used in the singular. So table A, ahad ashar, ithna ashar, thalathata ashar, arbaata ashar, khamsata ashar, sittata ashar, sabaata ashar, thamaniyata ashar, tisaata ashar. And in table B, feminine, ihda ashra, ithnata ashra, thalatha ashra, arba'a ashra, khamsa ashra, sitta ashra, sab'a ashra, thamani ashra, tis'a ashra. Examples for 13 teachers, thalathata ashra mu'alliman. And for 13 girls, thalatha asharata bintan. The noun for counting is mu'allim, which is masculine. Therefore, it is used as singular, and in thalathata ashar, both numbers carry fatha. The noun for counting is bint, which is feminine. Therefore, it is used as singular, and in thalatha ashara, both numbers carry fatha. Rule number 91. The countings of tens is also done with the following figures depending on their cases. If the case is in the nominative, una is used. And if the case is in accusative and genitive, ina is used. There is no change in gender. Accusative plus genitive. Rashreen, thalathin, arba'in, khamsin, sittin, sab'in, thamanin, tis'in. And in nominative, ishroon, 
The compound numbers from 21 to 99 are formed according to the following patterns. Feminine, 32. Ithnatan wa thalathun bintan. 65. Khamsun wa sittun umma. And 21. Wahid wa ishroon mu'alliman. And 43. Thalasatun wa arba'oon rajulan. Rule number 93. The noun counted for after may a hundred and alf thousand remain in the singular and carries kasra. Laylatul Qadri Khairum min alf shahr. The night of power is better than a thousand months. Arba'atu alaf wa khamsu mi'a wa thnan wa tis'oon rajulan. Four thousand five hundred and ninety-two men. And then we have mea, hundred, mea tan, two hundred, thalatha mea, three hundred, alf, one thousand, alfan or alfain, two thousand, thalatha to alaf, three thousand. Now other counting. First, masculine, awwal, feminine, ula, thani, thaniya, thalith, thalitha, rabi' rabi'a. Khamis, Khamisa, Sadis, Sadisa, Sabi', Sabi'a, Thamin, Thamina, Tasi', Tasi'a, Ashir, Ashira. And we have followed this for our lesson numbers in the same way. Nisf, half, Tuluth, one third, Rubur, one fourth, Khumus, one fifth, Sudus, one sixth, Subur, one seventh, Tumun one eighth, Tusur one ninth, and Ushu one tenth. Names of weekdays. Asma'u ayyamil usbur. What it is? Double construct phrase. Yomul ahad, Sunday. Yomul ithnayn, Monday. Yomul thulatha, Tuesday. Yomul arbi'a, Wednesday. Yomul khamis, Thursday. Yomul Jumu'a, Friday, Yomul Sab, Saturday. Then we come to the names of months. Asma'u Shuhur, Muharram, Safar, Rabi'ul Awwal, Rabi'ul Thani, Jumad Al-Ula, Jumad Al-Thaniya, Rajab, Sha'ban, Ramadan, Shawwal, Dhul Qa'da, and Dhul Hijjah. Alhamdulillah, with this now we come to the Tenth derived form, and the tenth, the final derived form in our course is formed by adding ista before the radical fa. So it will become what? Istafala yastafailu istifalun mustafailun mustafalun. Alima, this is our one of the favorite rules. Does take the tenth the right form. So from istafala, istalama, yastalimu, istalamun, mustalimun, mustalamun. Class is very clever. Mustalamun. This is the tenth the right form. If you go to the significances of the tenth the right form, certain verbs. In the tenth form, denote pleading, taking, and requesting. Istaghfara to seek forgiveness. So let us see. Istaghfara yastaghfiru istaghfarun mustaghfirun mustaghfarun. Istaana to seek help. Istataba to seek repentance. Nistaalama, which I demonstrated to you to seek knowledge. The relaxive of the fourth form, factivity. Aslama, to surrender. 
is taslama to surrender completely then aadda to prepare istaadda to prepare oneself and that will be what istaadda yastaiddu istiadadun mustaiddun mustaadun if it takes we have provided for the fifth form as well uh, because there are some rules we do not take that but uh, we have just provided that particular stencil then in certain verbs it is used for the consideration of a special characteristic in a thing istavamahu to find him great now let us apply this istavama then to consider it as light. So let us say Alhamdulillah. to consider him as ignorant. Now let me take this form. That is istaghfara, istaghfara. So, what will be the meaning of istaghfara? To seek forgiveness. When we come to the perfect, what will be the meaning? Istaghfara. He sought forgiveness. And then all fourteen conjugations can be applied to it. A a u a. So that the endings which we have learned concerning perfect can be applied to all our derived forms. These stencils will remain as they are for the perfect, these perfects, all these perfects. These stencils will remain and then what we have to add and endings will be there. And when we come to the imperfect, here all our imperfects are there. All our ten right forms are there. And when we come to the imperfect, then all prefixes and suffixes which are going to be applied in the first form, they will be applied in these forms as well by retaining their own character. So here, now for example, if you have to turn this into dwell, can you turn it? Dwell? No, you for we have to retain the same pattern. Because these patterns are set patterns, we cannot possibly change them. They will remain as they are. Alhamdulillah, we came to the end of this episode. Barakallahu lana wa lakum wal jameel muslimin. Innahu ta'ala jawadun kareemun malikum bar rawufur raheem. Ar-Rahman ar